Hello everyone, this is Cindy from My Altered Muse, and I am working on a very, very special project, and I wanted to bring you along. Um, I've just about finished, because it's kind of hard to slow stitch on camera, but um, I have just a little bit more to do down here, so I will finish that. And, um, I just, um, use the, um, raw edges. I don't, um, turn under or anything. I, I kind of like the shabby chic look. So, that's what I'm going for. And I always based mine to a piece of felt. It makes it look more quilted, and it's easier to um, f to attach to whatever you're making it for. So, um, I'm just going to do this right across the bottom, and then I've got a very special surprise. Oh, I am just over the moon with this project. But I went ahead and got the mundane things out of the way. Um, I've got it all slow stitched except just this little bit right here. And we're going to get that done. I added a little bit of lace. And we're going to be adding more. And I'll show you why. My needle is not real sharp. I lost... The one I was using, naturally. <laughs> oh, may call me the queen of don't know where anything is. So I went to my sewing room and got out another needle. And this one is just not real sharp. I know it's not a, um, it's not a counted cross-stitch needle because those don't have a point to them at all. This one is just, I don't know what its problem is. I really don't even have to stitch down here because I'm going to put um, lace. But I thought I would go ahead and finish it since everything else is stitched. Now, I am not going to stitch the lace because um, I want it to be flouncy and I'm just going to use a little tiny, tiny line of glue and attach it. So, um, I've done that before in the past, and um, I really like the way it turns out. Y'all just hang on. You're not going to believe the surprise when I get to the end of this row. I've been itching to get this done. So, um... I'll be showing it to you in just a minute. You're gonna, you're not, you're gonna, you're gonna gasp when you, I'll go ahead and tell you it's a her. You're gonna gasp when you see her. You're just not gonna believe it. Oh, she turned out just beautiful. I'm very proud that she turned out so good. Okay, now... Let me turn this over, and um, I'll show you. Now, when I attach this to the front of my journal, you won't see any of this back, but it will attach very nicely and smooth, and uh, that's the look I'm going for. Okay, now... Um, let me see here. I, um, I'm going to flip this over and put a little bit of glue right there. Okay. And, um, okay, here's what I've been waiting to show you. It's a Tilda doll. You remember Tilda, don't you? Yeah. The, the phrase, the phase of... Tilda, well, I have a Tilda doll 
hand, she's handmade. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? And look at her. I want to show you her feet. Look at her toes. Look at her toes. Look at her feet. And her little shoe goes on. And she is going to be the final touch to the front of my journal. So, let me see here. Um, I'm going to run just a real small line of glue right here. And I'm going to attach this because I think it's pretty. <laughs> and I think Tilda will like it. There. Okay. There. Now I've got everything stitched and lace and lace and I've got a um, lace up here and I've got a, a little gathered circle up there. A little yo-yo. Now I think what I'm going to do first is, let me see here. I, I want to go ahead and... Um, add this because I want to get it as wide as I can so she will have as much room as she can on here. Isn't that beautiful? So this is my hand stitched slow stitched journal cover with my handmade tilde and so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to run, I want to put this down the side. So I'm just going to run a little glue. Let me get my last pin out. Okay, now get the right side here which is right here, and I am just going to attach this to the very edge. Okay. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, I haven't done anything like this in so long. I'm just real excited to get this, to get this project started. I'm not sure exactly what the inside of the book is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be sewing, if it's going to be lace, I'm not sure. I'm just making the um, cover, and then I'm going to decide where I want to take it from there. Um, it might be all pinks. I don't know. I don't know yet, but you'll be the first to know because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it with you. And... Um, I just think working on a piece of fat. Now, I've doubled this because I wanted it to be really, really substantial for my doll. So, um, I, um, well, this is, come on. I don't usually make but one thickness. But um, I am on the, I did double on this because, I, like I say, I wanted it to be just as sturdy as I could get it. Okay, now, let's turn that over. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm thinking about maybe, oh, I think I kicked the camera, I'm sorry. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's run that down the side also. And we're just going to do a little tiny bit. This is Fabri-Tac, so it's what you use with fabric when you're attaching. So let me get the right side here. It's hard to tell sometimes. Okay, I think that's right. 
So I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to put that down. Oops, I think I better bring that up just a little bit. This is going to be a premier item in my shop. <laughs> oh, me, if I decide to part with it, I don't know. Okay, now I've still got some more of that left. Let's see how we're doing. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Mmm. And this, um, the fabric I'm using was actually supposed to be a quilt. I bought all the makings to make a quilt. And then I decided that I just, um, I don't know, I didn't want to make a quilt. So I'm using it for slow stitching and making needle books and that type of thing. So, um, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, there. Okay, now, um, I, look at this beautiful, beautiful, oh, beautiful lace. I got this from, um, where did I get this? I'm not, I don't exactly remember where I got it, but I use it very sparingly because it is so beautiful. Um, I've got a couple of yards of it, so, um, okay, I think what I want to do is bring it around the back because it's going to, um, be on the back of the journal. So I'm gonna bring just a little bit here and fold it over. I wanna thank everyone for being a subscriber to my channel. Um, I'm over 3,000 subscribers now and um, just makes me feel real good that people um, are interested in my work and um, I just really appreciate you so much okay let me just hold that down for just a minute there now I'm not gonna put let me turn this over I don't want it to I'm not gonna put um move that out of the way. I'm not going to put too much on this part because um, it's not actually going to show. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that like that because I want that to show. So that's the right part for that. So let me go ahead and glue that. We'll hold that down for a minute. This is just going to be frills all over the place. Um, I will probably add one of my pretty stick pins. Um, I don't know what all I'm going to do, but it's going to be it's going to be lovely. I can tell you that. Okay, now let me run. I'm just going to run the glue right across this band right there. And I'm going to bring it across. And tuck it down. Oh my word, isn't that beautiful? Let me see what's going on back here. I think I need to... I need to raise this up a little bit. It's too um it's too far down. It's not wanting to. There we go. There. See the back is just so soft and it'll just go on the front of the journal cover. So wonderful. Okay, now um let me get that tucked under there. 
And then I'm going to put something here. There will, there will be a um, some kind of flouncy something right here hanging down. Okay. Probably maybe something like this or some um, a doily. I'm not sure what's going to go here, but it is. it will be finished off. Okay. Now, let's see what we think. Oh. Uh, Lovely. Okay, now what I'm thinking about with her is there's no way I'm going to put any glue or anything on her. Um, I think what I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Um... Let me thread this. I don't have a whole lot left on here, but I think I, I think I have enough to finish. I've got another needle over there with some. Um, here, I think that needle's actually got more in it. Let me, let me use it. I'm gonna double it, and um, I'm gonna stitch her on so she can be removed. Okay, now let me see where I want her. Isn't she lovely? There, I like that. I want part of the journal showing. Okay, I am going to, let's see, what am I going to do here? I am going to come under the dress. like so and i'm gonna turn it over come back up through the dress i don't want to get any i don't want to get it the apron tucked tack down okay then i'm gonna pull that and i'm gonna go i'm hoping this will work i may have to do some other stuff okay i'm gonna come back and pull it through and then I'm going to do a loop as such never done this before so I'm just kind of winging it I know I didn't want to put glue on her so we're doing this um, okay now I'm going to clip that Mm. Mm hmm that's working great. Okay, I don't think I have enough. I'm going to have to go to this needle now. And um, I may have to tack her in a couple more places, but I don't have to do that on camera. I just wanted you to see how I'm doing it. Because this is kind of a do-as-you-go thing. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to come back up under her dress on this side and make sure she's straight. And I'm going to go through like so. And I'm going to go ahead and get that like that. Then I'm going to come back through her... Um, dress I don't want to catch your petticoat okay then I'm going to go back through again and I'm going to I hope y'all can see what I'm doing I'm just doing some loop knots here so it's really um Okay, now let's see uh, how this worked. <laughs> oh my word. I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to put a piece 
um, around her neck, but it won't show. So, um, I'll do that off camera. But see her little arms come around like so. And she's got dimples on her little hands and she's stuffed so well. Isn't she adorable? This is Miss Tilda. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more, but um, this is basically what I wanted you to see. I'm so excited. Now, she also has a hat, and her hat is um, also very pretty. Now, I can put it on her wrist like so. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I don't know where exactly where the hat's going. Now, it could go up here. I'll just have to um, work with that and see what I want to do. But I just wanted to share with you this beautiful creation. I mean, she is just divine. This is probably the most special journal I have ever made. And um, let me see here. I might want to um, let me see. I might do something with this. I might take, I might unsnip that and rework it. But anyway, I'm not sure. But for now, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get her on camera and show y'all how, how wonderful she is. And I'm going to trim. Whoops, I'm going to trim this. But I got some more stitching to do with her. But, um... I just um, wanted to show her to you, and um, I'm, I think I'm probably going to make a couple of more um, as I get along a little bit. If um, someone's interested and wants to put um, a deposit down or go ahead and purchase her, you may. Um, just message me, and um, we'll talk about it and see what we want to do, how we want to work it. But um, this is going to be a while in the works because um, I've got to do the inside of the journal, and I'm not sure what I want to do yet. But look at her face. Look, she's even got little eyelashes made out of thread. Look at that. Okay. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you, and um, I know you love it, <laughs> because I do. So, um, I'll work on the front some more, and I'll be back, and um, we'll um, figure out how we're going to do this, okay? So, I'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.